Uh, this is like apparently the tradition is we're gonna unbox stuff on the weekends. We're gonna try to get some videos out about the stuff in the boxes. Unfortunately, what happened last week is we had a couple issues with a couple of the products that took us a little bit longer to review them. And then uh, in the case of the, the mini box over here, uh, we can get to the bio screen, but we can't post into any operating system. I've been messing with that and I've emailed them. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna get it figured out though. That's not a knock on the product, just to clarify, because we don't know anything yet. But that being said, let's get into another what's in the box. Starting things off, uh, let's, let's, let's put this over here. It's like a tower of boxes, except this side's much, much larger. Let's start out with this. I, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Err. Err. Bit intercom headset. Oh, okay. Awesome. So this is for the motorcycle. And this is a, an in, intercom. Basically it is a... Uh, what do you call it? It's a um, it's a Bluetooth headset that goes into your helmet. So this will actually be a review of this, which there you go, will be over on the Son of a Brap YouTube channel, which is my moto vlogging channel that I post on uh, semi frequently. Let's say once a week at this point, about give or take. So we'll go do a review of that over on that one. I'm just gonna set it over here. Awesome, I'm, uh, I don't know why it came with this. Uh, it looks like an adapter. Yeah, it's a US wall adapter. Okay, I don't know what's in here, but let's find out. Aha! The first piece to the glorious puzzle. This is an NVIDIA NVLink, not to be confused with SLI bridge that we're gonna be checking out tonight. Yeah. So that's gonna run you about $80 though. For this. So hopefully, uh, you know, NVLink has some good support. We'll find out. Let's see what's in here. Oh, oh, well, this completes the puzzle that we, we needed. This completes it. Okay, so I got this from a place called Cutting Edge Gamer. I usually re release GPUs here and there from them uh, for review on the channel, and it's the way I get a hold of my GPUs. And if you guys have been paying attention to the market, it's absolutely impossible to get a 2080 Ti. So in the interim, we are going to be, ooh, ooh, let me get this. SLIing some 2080s, and that's what all that's for. So I hope to see you guys either on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash time attack underscore testing this out tonight or over on YouTube. I haven't decided if I'm not live right now on YouTube and you're watching this on October 5th, it's probably a pretty good bet that I'm over on Twitch benchmarking. So there you go. Okie dokie, so this is in preparation for something else. This is from Mod My Mods. I don't know if I have an affiliate link with them yet, but they help me out a lot and I will put a link in the show notes below. Not giving it to me, but they help me out. I get some cuts. So they've been super awesome and I get a lot of stuff from them because they usually have borrow fittings. And borrow fittings, for those of you not in the know, are really good water cooling fittings that are not overpriced like EK or um, some others like that. I don't wanna get too crazy with them, but they're they're what I would call budget quality water cooling parts. And so I go through Mod My Bods because, well, they're awesome. So there you go. Uh, let's see, so we have a whole bunch of fittings here. And then we have some tube right here. You can actually pick this tube up for like 60 cents a foot on Mod My Mods right now. It is just soft tubing. Yes, this is all soft tubing stuff because here are some quick disconnects and we are going to be essentially uh, creating ourselves a test bench water loop in preparation for the water blocks that are gonna come in for these. Hopefully at some point, whenever Alpha Cool decides to ship them, we will get them. Uh, to go ahead and cool it off, we have a 240 millimeter radiator here. And this should be copper and brass. 
there you go, perfect. And then we have pretty much my favorite, um, my favorite pump res combo. It is an Alpha Cool as the D5, and I believe this is the 150 milliliter as well. So this all is pretty much, I'm probably gonna throw it all right back in this box later. I'm gonna at least throw these fittings back in there. These are just basic compression fittings for the soft tubing, nothing too special there. And like we stated earlier, we had these. So we have like enough to basically water cool the, the 2080s as soon as the block comes in. And this is just gonna be my, basically my water block test bench that I'm working on getting together at this point. Huge shout out to mom, my mods there. Finally, we have this. And to be honest with you guys, this is the reason I probably won't have any videos this week. Um, this is probably about a year or two in the making. I've been busy and got distracted by YouTube and didn't put enough focus on one of my other hobbies. Oh, if I can get this open. And uh, I finally had the opportunity. Oh, fragile as I bust it all around. Finally had the opportunity to go ahead and pick this up. And it is a essentially a replacement, dear Lord, for my turbo on my 2002 Volkswagen GTI. I blew it a couple years back now. And then life got in the way, we moved. Um, I actually had the car towed over here. And it's been a while, so in here, let me see if we can even get this out. Holy smokies. Dump some peanuts over there. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, Honeywell. Isn't that beautiful right there? This, my friends, is a Supercore. It is a Garrett GT 2860 RS. I will probably spend all of tomorrow uh, installing this after I recover from the 2080 SLI stuff. So it's interesting that it doesn't even have a, let me make sure it's the right one while we're here. Cause I love it. I love it. Uh, it doesn't have a part number on the on the outside, or one that I recognize at least. 836026 AR60 M24B07. Oh, and it comes pre-installed with an in internal wastegate. So we're gonna have to put that together this weekend, which is gonna take uh, a significant amount of time. Because once I have it together, I also have to mount it up in the car. So I'm assuming I have uh, because of the location and then having to drop axles on that car. Um, I have to reassemble all of that and I have to actually assemble the turbo. So there you go. Let's, uh, let's party. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Uh, share the videos around if you find any of them particularly helpful because that would be Super awesome of y'all, and I will see you next Tuesday.